So this is how Opta are viewing things with 10 games of the season remaining in these two huge games this afternoon. Uh, Burnley, no massive surprise here, 99.98% uh, chance. Then comes Sheffield United and then it is Luton. I think Forest, Everton, Crystal Palace and Brentford will be OK. Anyone disagree with those bottom three? Is that how you see it, Merce? Who's Opta? <laughs> Um, that's why I'm now asking you. I don't know. I'm asking a real is. person. It's just a person who's come in and gone, right, they're not going to win that. They're going to win that. If Luton win today, yeah. that 75% turns to probably a 40% mm. chance then. Because, you know, you're going to, Forrest might get some points. It all depends on that. I mean, Luton, if they get beat today, well, that will turn to 100. I mean, it's so hard because you look at the fixtures, it's all about timing. Yeah. It's all about timing. It's when you play someone, you might play, you know, you might look at a game and think, oh, that's a difficult game. You remember not long ago, Bournemouth was struggling like crazy. Then they go and play Newcastle at home, who had 11 players out. And they go and beat Newcastle, yeah. and then they started their run up the table. It's all about timings. At the moment, I still think Luton. I still think Luton get out of it. I like Luton's fixtures. I think they're a different beast at home. And I think they win today, and I think they're right, right, right in this. My worry would be Everton, because they keep on going under the radar mm. and they keep on losing football matches. And the worrying thing is sometimes they keep on playing well and they're losing football matches. That's even more of a worry. So, for me, I, I think Luton get out of it still. And Everton said we can't the buy a win two should be in 100. the Premier League. They shouldn't be 99.5 and 99.9. <laughs> yeah, tiny little bit of room, room yeah. for error there. And, um, Benty, in terms of... Of who goes down with Sheffield United and Burnley? Is, is it Luton for you, or do you see someone else no, taking that position? No, I mean, listen. At the start of the season, when they first came up, I thought they would be dead certs to go yeah. down. Like, and how wrong was I? Because they're fighting tooth and nail. Um, and with, as Mer said, there they're a different beast at home. I, mm. I think even the games they've lost at times, they should have taken more points at home than they've currently got. I think they've lost something like 16 points from winning positions, which is scary as well. So, no, I think Luton will survive. I do worry about Forest. Um, sorry, Dawes, but. Yeah, I've just got a feeling that, that Luton, I think Luton's running is OK. I know they've got to get past Tottenham and Arsenal and City, but other than that, I think they can pick up points. I really do. Yeah, if the gap's not too big after those games, well, you're last on, games, I mean, big opportunity. Forest and the other team just above yeah. them. I mean, they haven't won many games all season, so all, all of a sudden we're speaking about these guys winning, what, five out of their last ten? I can't see it happening. So I think Luton have got an opportunity to get out of it. I really do. Briefly, Sue, Dorse, who makes up that final berth? I think Luton, um, and it, it's obviously how they respond to, to that result um, midweek. But yeah, I, again, it depends on the, the points deduction as well for Nottingham Forest and Everton. But I think, I think Luton. Dawson, same for me. 